it's like, it's like a hurricane <laughs> up windy, in here. It's windy, yeah. It's scary. It's windy. This is wild. Yeah. Have you guys been liking me including our radio song? Have you noticed that at all? Yeah. In the edits? What do you guys think? Do you like hearing what we're listening to? Like, I've been searching my whole life to find my own place. And maybe it's the party talking or the chocolate fondue. <laughs> but with you, but with you, I found my place. At least it's not raining here. Dun, dun, dun. It's gonna get close up on my sty. <laughs> or your stash. <laughs> Ooh. We forgot to show when we were at home that I got a package today yeah. from Sperry. I've decided that because they're such good customer service that I will never buy flip flops from any other company than Sperry's. I'll buy other shoes from other companies, but I still will probably buy a pair of boat shoes from Sperry's because I've wanted one forever and I don't have a pair. But if you remember the, the parade, for Peter Pan, I busted that nine month old pair of Sperry flip flops. Now, nine months is long for me. I usually go through one or two pairs in the Chicago summer. I've had that one pair of Sperry's for nine months through the Florida life of walking like five to nine miles a day in Disney World, getting them wet, getting every them heat the every single, single day. day. Cause I hate wearing shoes. I only wear flip flops when I'm not at work. Um, so they, I don't know if we said this in a different vlog, but we tweeted at them just like a picture like being goofy and they messaged us and was like, oh my God, we're so sorry. Like, what's your address? We'll set you up with some new ones. So thank you so much, Sperry. That was amazing customer service. Did not expect it to happen, especially because we had those for so long. But you now have a lifelong flip-flop buyer and I am very critical of my flip-flops. Yeah. So. But if you haven't been able to tell, we're at the Polynesian. Yeah. Jill and James are meeting up with us. Kristen might meet up with us. Kristen might. Um, it was pouring as you saw a second ago, and I feel like it's like kind of like swirly twirling around. So we're just kind of relaxed. I don't know if um, I know we might walk the, to the Grand. We might walk to the Grand, and I don't know. I'm sure a lot of you have seen online already. Um, but Richard, the greeter from the Grand Floridian, who was like, who was like the big, like the number one train conductor they called him for, like wedding bride trains yeah. in in Disney weddings at the Grand Floridian, just and just like, like an the super icon sweet, of the Grand. right. Uh, he passed away in the early hours of this morning, so our hearts go out to his family and the Grand Floridian family too, because it's not going to be the same without him, but we were very lucky to have met him a couple of times. Yeah. But he's just such a sweetheart. Can you put a link over here of the bucket list video that he's in? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's so moist out that these ducks are just, they look like Eve, just being so sleepy like that. They're just relaxing on the sidewalk. They're actually not the exact same ones because they're more of like a cloth top, which I'm a little worried about, but I'm gonna love them either way. And look at this gloomy and windy, windy. <laughs> you feel like what? Um, it is raining right now on us, so we kind of already are, but let's just let's just own it. Okay. Look how tan it looks, but it's that burn that she got. Um, now I'm tan and I'm burning. My forehead gets like. She's a bronze goddess in her yellow dress. I was wearing a yellow pole today, all day, this morning, for work. Show up home. She goes, uh, I need you to change because uh, we can't both wear yellow. You said, can you please change your shirt because we both can't wear yellow. <laughs> and I just said, okay. I could have been like, um, I've been in this shirt since 7 this morning. You changed. <laughs> you changed, but. Oh no. Oh, no. Hold on, these are, these are big drops. Look at that. Ah! <laughs> they <laughs> they kind of hurt. Ah! Oh. No. I feel like it's going to pass quickly. <laughs> Ow! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Is this <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so... No, I'm not getting hit too much. <laughs> it's 
Sarah's gonna use the towel that was wet. Okay, it's getting heavier. We gotta go. Okay, we're actually gonna go this way. It's an exit only. We're gonna, I've always wanted to go in this building here, right off the beach, and I think they've got nice comfy seats in the, uh, on the second floor. Rather than going to the main house, we're gonna check this out. This is the Hawaii. Sarah, how do you pronounce it? Hawaii. How do you normally pronounce it? Hawaii. She calls it Hawaii, not Hawaii. Oh. That's a club, that's why we can't go in there. I never knew that was there. Okay, we're going to the main building. Enough of this dilly-dallying. Alright, we're torturing ourselves by being on the second floor of the Polynesian. If you don't know why this is torture for us, because right over there is a little old place called Ohana. And that means family, and it also means stuffing your face to gluttonous and ridiculous amounts. Our next reservation for it. With Brooke? Yeah. Oh my god, Brooke and Mark. No vengeance. Gonna eat my life away. That's not until November though, right? Yeah. That's a good time frame, like we just went last month. Right, or two months ago. Two months ago, and the next one will be in November. That's a, that's a good enough time. Oh, so we're at the Tambu Lounge, because it's gonna go into refurbishment for three months to get expanded. And we're finally getting something that I've wanted to for a very long time because of ears to you. Yeah, the back scratcher. About it. It means, always. It means bread pudding, lab smoothies, all that kind of stuff, but we never like, got this. Yeah. So I want to show you, we got Jill and James with us. They're SeaWorld people too, so we're going to be hanging out with them a lot more this summer. With What's it called? Electric, electric, ocean. electric ocean. ocean. With that going on. I saw some photos of it. Looks like a good time. But Jill and James actually brought Sarah's birthday gift. Look at this. We're going to play this tonight when we get home. The Golden Age of Entertainment. It's a bunch of vinyls. It has Rally song. It has When You Wish Upon a Star. And to kick it off, I feel like this was a gift more so for me. This next one, then Sarah. Oh, that Jill found a DVD version of the basics. If you're a Disney cast member, you know what this is. We're still in all this together. This is like, like, like training video. I didn't watch it yet, but I'm really hoping it's a training video. I'm pretty certain it's a training video because the basics were like the, the key basics. Like your manager would take you on a basics walk to talk about like how you were making magic that time. <laughs> and, uh, and we got a back scratcher. Thanks ears to you for, uh, Constantly reminding me that I've never had this. So far, delicious. We're gonna go see if it's not raining anymore to see if we can uh, see Happily Ever After. And Jill and James just found out that their annual passes are not blocked out for the next month! So you can't watch it starting the day before um, Toy Story Land? Just in time! Why is the music playing? Is this the... It starts right now. It starts right now? Oh yeah.
guys were home when we made a big announcement. Park Hopper Podcast is making an epic return this Sunday morning. We got some changes. We have some apologizing to make. We have some some um, scheduling things that we're going to talk about. What's changing in Park Hopper Podcast? But go check out Dom and mine's podcast. It comes out every Sunday morning. Well, it's gonna it's gonna go back to coming out every Sunday. We've missed about three or four Sundays. What should I do while they record? You should show them a little bit of the uh, record that we got. Mm. But look at this is Dom's bedroom. He has glow in the dark stars on his ceiling. I'm so pumped for this basket. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna. Well, you're out of focus. You're out of focus. Isn't this girl beautiful? I'm gonna I'm gonna use that later after the Park Hopper podcast. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get set up with. I'm gonna go get set up with Dom. Um, Sarah takes care of Eve while we podcast, so she doesn't bark. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Alrighty. The first one I'm gonna play is the trolley song from Meet Me in St. Louis in Main Street, USA. Turn it down so Peter can't hear it. Okay, I'll just play one more so it doesn't get too boring. It's Jiminy Cricket. So sweet. I'm so happy this is on there. We were just singing so much of wishes tonight. So I'll kind of show you more just real quick of how this is like organized. So each one has like a theme to it. So there's great entertainers. This one is Hollywood Cavalcade. The trolley song was great women vocalists. There's male vocalists. Um, there's like one for the radio, so then they're all in these like individual sleeves, all organized. It's so nice they have that index. Are you surprised that I am a great movie ride purist and a Hollywood Studios, I don't know, supporter? This is like so up my alley. Thank you so much, Jill. This was like an incredible gift. All right, so I just finished wa recording the podcast with Dom. It's a really good one. It's our top five, um, top five favorite lounges or bars in Disney World. So get ready for that on Sunday morning. It was just, it was just good to be back in front of the microphone and have Dom on Facetime. So that was exciting. But look at this. This, if you don't, for anybody who doesn't know, the basics are a Disney cast member training concept. Thank you for making a difference. Here's four videos of like, I don't even remember. I feel like we've seen this. This is like an older, I think it's like a much older training video. Who are these guys? The general managers of the All-Star Resorts in Yacht Beach. Why does he have a coonskin hat? I don't know. I like his pins. Yeah, look at those classics. Hi everyone. <gasps> Congratulations. On I got to meet Meg Crofton. Your hard work has made such a difference. Not She's only going to see us, but all of Walt Disney World. And it's a difference. It's going to be this is behind the scenes right now of the Brooklyn Project, Project planning our day out tomorrow. What you all have done with the basics pilot. Maycrofton is the bomb. Okay. So let me give you more context to what the basics are. They are, that's cool. Like, I didn't, I thought that was going to be more of like a, um, like a training video that like we would have seen in 2011 but because we went through the basics the service standards that's it's disney's service standards it's like what it means to be a cast member through and through like the basics but they're all like the service operation standards that they do and uh that was cool like that was from the pilot series so like uh, like from taking from that they started that program at the all-star resorts and the yacht and beach club resorts so that was cool um i wish it was a little bit more but it's still i love was that the whole thing? That was the whole thing. It was just, just four thank yous. But I love Meg Crofton. I didn't think uh, she'd be on there, but I'm a big Meg Crofton fan. She was since retired, but she was a president of Walt Disney World, Disneyland, and Disneyland Paris before she retired. That was cool. Thanks, Jill. Did you show them the vinyls? Yeah. I'd say for Brookhart Project standards, it's going bed at a reasonable time, especially on a Thursday with tomorrow being Friday. It's 12.30 in the morning. But if you couldn't tell 
or guess by the fact that I'm by myself right now for the sign off. Um, Sarah was on the couch. Sarah was relaxing. Sarah put on a series of unfortunate events. That means she fell asleep. But it was a wonderful night. It was different. It was great seeing Jill and James. Cool gifts. Just a good day. Tomorrow's Friday. We have a fun, jam packed weekend. We're excited to show you everything about it. So get ready for the weekend vlogs. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.